All right, <clears throat> let's get rocking, guys. I'm Dutch. Jules here. Dylan. That's right. We got Dylan piped in here. He's on location still. I, I think so. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see in the magic of post-production what happens with that. Maybe nothing. <laughs> Hopefully nothing because it's less work. Um, uh, this is another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition. Our goal to review every single spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our 100-point scoring system. Uh, in the <laughs> That was a mouthful. <laughs> No wonder you're the host of this show. <laughs> hey, that's why I get paid the big bucks, guys. Well played. Motormouth. Um, anyway, in this episode, we are trying Napog Castle 16 year. Look at that beauty. Look at that awesome canister. I love Ooh. whiskey that comes in canisters. I love a blue motif. It looks cool. Um, let me crack the get the bottle actually out of here so we can see what we're actually going to be reviewing here. Um, now this is the new, the new version of this, um, with the blue motif, you know, it says very clearly triple distilled sherry cask finish 16 years. Um, it says it's, you know, aged for 14 years in bourbon. And then it goes into, uh, 21 months in Oloroso sherry cask. It's got a lot of info on the, on the, on the bottle. The old version looked like this. And actually, I don't know why this one's unopened because I never got around to opening it, but, um, I think it's a major improvement going to the blue. What do you guys think? I agree. Oh, yeah, look at I the agree. bottle. The bottle got sexier. The bottle got way cooler. Um, you know, it's the same stuff. Uh, this is an older iteration. The cool thing on the old one, though, is it did say that it was like, that had the bottle number. So this oh. says it's bottle number 2445 out of 4,000. says that right down here on the bottom. I don't know if you can make that out on the screen or not. but uh, It we'll doesn't say that anymore in the new bottles? So anyway, all right, Dylan, you're done playing with yourself. <laughs> you tell us about I this? don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys Sorry. are doing. We're sitting here trying to, make know, the, so trying to make the cameras autofocus. <laughs> why don't we get to... Dylan just staring at the screen. <laughs> Let's get to the whiskey. I'm going to pour us some. Dylan, tell us a little more about this. There's some cool history going on here right now. Yeah, so, uh, you know, this is from Ireland, of course. Um, Castle Brands, one of the few uh, independent uh, bottle... Um, bottling companies, I think, left. And, uh, you know, fun fact. Um, it's Jules, my island. Yeah, Jules lived in Ireland. <laughs> That's I mean, true. Fun fact. That's true. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, this is, this is a treat. I always, uh, you know, love uh, Irish whiskey. And, um, and so when I, visit, when I visited uh, Jules while he was living in Ireland, uh, you know, we had we had our uh, our journey. You know, the best Irish part of that uh, trip was uh, contraband was spam. That's true. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, but anyway, sixteen uh, year old Irish whiskey. I think that's pretty interesting to start with. Uh, price point on this guy is, um, you know, I've seen this anywhere from I think the lowest is like seventy ish. Up to like 110. I've seen a pretty wide range with this. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, but usually you can find it for a little bit below 100. Um, it does come at us at, I believe, 40% alcohol, 80 proof. And it is, as Dylan said, an Irish whiskey. So we're going to give it a second to open up. We're going to give it a taste. We're going to score it. And we'll come back and talk about it. All right, guys. We've had some time to taste. We've got some scores. Let's start with the good. Dylan? Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> I was enjoying it. So what's good? Um, the aroma is phenomenal. Um, I think this is one of those things where, I mean, if you drink a lot of Irish whiskey, um, you know, you kind of expect a, a certain type of uh, aroma profile. Um, this one uh, is, it's unique in that there's a lot more sweetness um, that kind of overwhelms. And you get a lot of that fruit, which is uh, really pleasant. Um, so I scored it very, very high on that. And um, the drinkability is phenomenal. I think uh, the 16-year really shows. 
Um, you know, the finish is long. It's really, really uh, a very, very pleasant journey. And that, I think, really stands out. So I think the aroma is phenomenal. And, and the flavor, you know, flavor is definitely unique, I think. Uh, I, I think, you know, if you, if you are used to Irish whiskeys, you know, you know some, sometimes people just think, like, it's Jameson, right? That's, that's, that's all they know. But, you know, there's definitely a lot of variety. But you, you can pick this out. You can pick this out. And I think... Um, and that, and that, and I, maybe that's because of the, the way they treat the maturation, kind of the, you know, they call it the twin, uh, wood, uh, maturation. So, um, I think that really brings it, brings it forward. Um, if I can describe the flavor in one word, I'd say, um, it's like, it's almost like a, a, a nectar, you know, it's biting into nectar. Uh, and, and that's, that's. You know, that's what I usually expect in, uh, in Pope. Jules. No, this was great. This was a great experience. I walked into an apple orchard with this thing. I mean, from the nose down to, you know, in the palate. And it was awesome. I mean, I was just in a field um, of, like, apples. Jules apple <laughs> seed? That's what an, ap that's Jules what an apple, apple seed. orchard would be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it? That's it. Oh, wow. All right. So that's the only good thing he's got to say about it, I guess. Um, I echo a lot of what you guys both said, actually. I mean, the nose is very flavorful. Um, it's I, I think of it as being a very unique Irish whiskey. Um, and maybe that's just because we have this tendency to think of of this baseline of Jameson, right? Because that's like the ubiquitous Irish, whis Irish whiskey. And when I think of Irish whiskey, that's kind of what I think of. And if I think of like a little bit better one, I think of like Red Breast or something or Middleton. But, but these flavors, I don't, I don't know. For some reason, I don't expect these out of an Irish whiskey. So I, 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 I agree on the uniqueness of it. Um, and, and, you know, the, the Irish whiskey base with that, with that Oloroso Sherry finish, it really creates something pretty nice and and that sweetness that jammy sweetness that comes through is is spot on so all right guys let's move on to the bad dylan kick us off yeah so i you know i knocked off a lot of points on body um and the balance um we kind of commented on it while we were tasting this but it, it's really dis difficult to describe. I don't know if it's because of the Oloroso Sherry cask uh, kind of breaking through and then, you know, kind of the, the, the previous maturation kind of mingling a little bit. There's this weird frunk bing, um, that comes through a little bit from time to time. And, I, you know, I thought it was unique to me, but, you know, you guys were talking about it and you were confused about this weird thing that kind of came in all of a sudden. So, you know, I, I knocked off a little bit of that and, you know, for a 16 year boy, I mean, it's a little challenging because, um, you know, the, for a 16 year, the body is not as, as rich as I would like it. You know, when you get up to the 16 and 18, um, I really want that syrupy, almost, you know, full bodied flavor, but, you know, I think it's a little bit lacking in that department. So, you know, that's what I, think of as as bad about this all right jules well so i mean bad it's kind of weird only because there's like a negative connotation to it um but for me i just want to explain to the folks out there like what happened to my journey so i went from an apple orchard to all of a sudden i stumbled upon a stream and i got this weird earthiness kind of thing happening to me you know so it's like you know it's kind of like i guess funk you know frunk that Dylan talked about, but yeah, it was just kind of off-putting only because like I went from this like apple orchard to okay, now I'm at a stream and I don't know what's in that stream and if it's like sitting water for a long time and I'm getting all that and so that's what happened to me. Um, what are you talking about? I I don't know. <laughs> what are you bear grills or something? I I mean like what are you doing? Who knows, dude? What are you doing what in the woods? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. I feel like, I think he's writing a on novel. A journey. I think he's been busy writing his novel and he's getting confused <laughs> what's going on here. Frodo is leaving the Shire with a bottle of whiskey. Um, I, I, I actually kind of agree with both of you, though, <laughs> which is the ridiculous thing about it. Um, I had almost the same experience where when I first tasted it, it reminded me, oh, this is Napogue, and then I tasted it again, and I got, I don't, it wasn't really frunk. 
it, yeah. You know, we talk about good. the weeder frunk, which we get from weeded bourbons, and you know, Dylan's got the shirt. It was something different. There was almost like an astringent quality that came mm -hmm. through. Um, and as it's opened up, and I just tasted it actually as you were talking, so mm -hmm. I tasted it again, and that kind of disappeared. So I don't know if mm -hmm. it just it needed to open up a little bit more. And I tasted it again and I actually adjusted my score a little bit because of that. Um, but the fact that that kind of was coming in and out, that's, that was unpleasant. It wasn't something I enjoyed. It was kind of the sharp quality that hit me that I don't remember from this. So I don't know if it's yeah. just because this bottle's been open for a while and it's oxidized a little bit or something. Um, but that was really the one thing I was knocking it on. And for me, that affected uh, the balance. It affected the way I – it affected my, my scores on the on, on body as well. So it um, – but a little bit on flavor because some of the stuff, the sweetness that I got on the nose and the sweetness that I remember f getting on the palate before, I was getting that sharp hit of astringency that kind of was like, eh, you know, I, I can get a lot of these flavors still, but there's something, there's this other note that's kind of hitting there that's a little disconcerting. It's like eyes wide shut when they keep playing that thing on the piano in the background. <laughs> wow, wow. So that's what you watch during your free time, I see. So, so let me get this straight. <laughs> Jules goes on Bear Grylls journeys, and you know Dutch is basically eyes wide shut. You hear, you heard it here, folks. I mean, this is this is crazy. He's had an this underground is... high society, you know, nude fest, <laughs> whiskey fest, dude. Come on, he's that eyes wide insane. shut, man. I know, but in our context, it would be whiskey. Anyway, oh, what, forget what, about what, it. Let's <laughs> move on, guys, to the final uh, final discussion topic of the ugly. Dylan. Yeah, so, um, you know, I really like the new bottling, uh, I got to say. I, I think it's very unique. Nice. I even like the, the crest right here. Um, you can't yeah. see it on this one, but, uh, and, you know, it's signed at the bottom. I, I really like this bottle. So, you know, I got, you know, good points from that. Um, in terms of value, you know, for what you pay for, um, you know, again, age stated, um, Irish whiskey, 16 year, uh, you get this, uh, you know, Oloroso sherry cask uh, flavor, kind of, you know, very, very interesting journey, like Jules said, you know, I, I don't know if I would put it in the, in the context that he did, but, you know, it's definitely a journey. So I, I gave it a good uh, score on value as well. So I, I really like this. I mean, I really like this. This is always in my bar. Um, it's always available. You know, sometimes I actually long for it. Yeah, it has that little weird frunk. Um, but uh, I, I think the the aesthetics and value really come through. So I'd say, you know, pretty good. All right, Jules. This is not ugly. This is sexy. It's good to go. The eyes bottle's wide shut, great. Sexy. Okay. <laughs> totally eyes wide shut. Let me go get my masquerade mask thing, whatever. But yeah, like this thing is good. I mean, the bottle, I like the update to the bottle. Um, looks great. Uh, the, you know, the, um, the packaging is great too. It comes in a canister, which is nice and different from a typical box. Um, and yeah, it stands out. And again, another great gift item, actually, just because of that. And uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I agree, guys. I mean, I, I think um, value is the one I kind of struggled on, mm. you know, because I have seen this thing as, as high as like 100 bucks places. Um, but in the in the normal normally priced range for what you're getting, 16 years, a pretty pretty unique Irish whiskey expression. Um, yeah, there's there's not a lot of ugly with this. It's pretty damn pretty damn cool. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get to our scores. So we do have a hundred point grading system that we. Uh, have spread over 10 categories that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. And we have medals that we award for basically anything above 60 gets either a bronze, silver, gold, or diamond, depending on where it falls in our scoring criteria. Um, let's get our scores. Dylan. So uh, I kissed this hill with a 76. Wow. Wow. Jules. I'm shocked because I ranked this higher than Dylan at 78. What? Wow. And I'm on the, I'm the low man here with 73. Oh, wow. For our official Curiosity Public Ultimate Spirits Competition 
score so. for Napogue Castle, 16 year old, is a 75. A solid silver, right smack dab in the middle. Wow, 75, eh? Um, yeah. I think that's still in my book. Totally man, I'm, I'm, <laughs> man, I'm drinking some really good stuff uh, these days. I like this. I like this segment because I get to drink all the <laughs> well. Don't the worry. Fantastic I mean, we're, since we're going to review everything, you're going to try some really swill stuff eventually, and you're, you're going to score pretty low, I think. Yeah. So Ooh. savor these moments. Savor that walk through the forest, oh. coming to the stream. That, that, that again, Dylan's <laughs> bound to give everybody a medal, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that, dude. But. Why don't you take Everyone examples? gets a medal in Dylan's book. <laughs> All right. Hey, thumbs up. Subscri subscribe. Uh, comment below. Hit the bell notification for more videos from Curiosity Public. And stay curious. Yeah, let them rip me on. <laughs> They're going to rip me on it anyway. <laughs> like. Oh, man.